what you just saw was the 10th liftoff of the Unity rocket. Unity is a thrust vector controlled rocket with a loaded mass of 1.4 kilograms, a diameter of 100 millimeters, and a target apogee of 150 meters. Unity Flight 10 has an improved avionics system that uses a horizontal SMD flight computer and a run cam split horizon camera. The software now features a Kalman filter to get position and velocity using the barometer, accelerometer, and GPS. Flight 10 is the first to attempt to control for position using a state space controller. After integrating the rocket for the final time, Unity was ready to launch. Three, two, one. Unity Flight 10 hit a peak altitude of 144 meters determined by the accelerometer. The rocket controlled orientation and position well during the flight. However, due to an incorrect state change before the launch, most of the critical functions in the flight software did not work. This includes the Kalman filter which deploys the parachute. Unity Flight 11 will launch on a new 38mm TVC mount in late April. The new mount has a larger gimbal range and faster servos. The final parts for a holdout mount are being printed for a TBC static fire in a few days. Fly 11 will also utilize an improved state machine and a more accurate magnetometer heading calculation. The files for the new TVC mount and full SMD flight computer design will be available on Patreon. Supporting Delta Space Systems on Patreon will give you access to previous flight footage, flight computer Arduino libraries, and other CAD files. Supporting through Patreon allows me to upgrade rocket hardware and attempt to land a rocket in 2023. I'm Cole, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the launch site.